Thai. Um, welcome to Taipei. So we're in Taipei for a few days, three or four days, and we got in at 3 a.m. <laughs> last night. Uh, the the flight thing was such a disaster. The plane kept getting delayed, whatever. But anyway, we're here, and it right now it's like 4 p.m. on our first day, and I managed to sneak away. <laughs> to be uh, by myself a little and um, update my journal, stuff like that. So yeah, I already have a little bag of things. So first, this this is a sticker of a fish that looks like a cat that looks like a fish. I got this from Huashan Creative Park. Also one where he looks like uh, fish balls. <laughs> I wanted to buy that. But anyway, from the from the from the Faber-Castell shop. I don't think that's what it's called. I think they're, they're a distributor. They had a lot of other brands, but mostly Faber-Castell. Um, I got this Sachihata letter stamp kit. I don't know what it's called, but I was looking for this in Japan, actually. And I bought the cheap one off of Shopee, but I already lost the letter A, which sort of prompted me getting this legit um, version. I also got a couple of Sachihata ink pads because for some reason in hands in Japan they didn't have this the selection of this these ink pads so when I saw this I was I couldn't help myself and I bought so this is one it's like a sage olive green ink that I haven't used <laughs> it's number 21 I don't know what color it is and then there's this one which it looks pink on the cover, but it's really more orange. Um, this one is open because our hostel, which is so cute, they have a little section where you where you can just go in and write letters, and they have stamps. So, and their stamp pad was running out, so, so I opened this one and I used it so I could use their um, their stamps. So, this is one. It's a 2023 bunny with a hotel name. And this one is the name of our hostel. Taipei Main. Uh, Star Hostel Taipei Main Station. And there was also... Oh, I also got washi tape! Yeah! So there's also this washi tape. See, it's a dog holding a notebook. It's like a... I think it's a Midori. I don't know what this... It's a Maruman set, but... Um, I thought the illustrations were super cute. It's a sloth. Oh, with paper and an owl. Anyway, as if I needed more washi tape, but whatever. <laughs> I really don't know what's gonna happen on this trip. But so far, so are good. I'll see if I can talk to you soon. It depends. I'm with like four siblings right now. And I realize like the less number of people I'm with, the more difficult it is to film. Because I was supposed to do a whole video on um, visiting the Traveler's Factory store in Kyoto. And I chickened out. I have the footage, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> see you later. Feet winter drives me wild I can't fly down on the Friday I was meant to meet you at your mom's house So I McDevitt, Mary Kate McDevitt. It's, it's um, gift wrap. Look at those bunnies. And that. This. Can we do it? 
discuss shaved ice no ice shine. I dropped my lipstick at the bus. We're gonna have lunch at the beef noodle place because the boys are hungry and I owe them. I hope it's a good one. I like beef noodles, but it's so hot. We'll see. neighborhood I think we could have just stayed here and I would have been happy yay we're back home <laughs> we got back at 3 a.m. last night because our flight was once again delayed um, and I just stopped talking to the camera because, because as I explained the less people I'm around the harder it is to talk to the camera and now since I'm alone in the room again another miracle uh, we have space and time and I am actually dressed so we can do a little haul. So the thing that surprised me about Taiwan is that a lot of the stuff that I didn't I wasn't able to get in Japan I actually found here uh, which is quite amazing. So so the first place that we went to was Tools to Live By which was such a cool store. Um, I thought it felt like a cave and then inside was this mid-century modern uh, place where you could buy things the music was bad like jazz covers of popular music will never be my thing but it was so nice to like uh, look around see what was there and everything just felt so you know beautifully laid out and from there I got quite a few things actually that I probably should not have gotten but first I got a, a grid insert for the regular size traveler's notebook. I just, I like grid. I don't know why I got the lightweight paper. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to experiment, I guess, with, with lightweight paper because I used up the short trip. I don't know why I did it. And then I got this repair kit. These repair kits are kind of hard to come by in Manila. So I got this one. It's not the, I don't think this is the new edition one. Yeah, it says standard colors. I, I believe there's like an olive edition repair kit, but just, just in case one of my traveler's notebooks needs it, 
I have it on hand. I say that with like conviction. And then I also got this very heavy brass clip. Brass, um, brass clip. It's a, it's a shape of a hand and it's quite, it's quite heavy. I think because I signed up for for their um, membership program. I don't know why I signed up. I got this pen. It's a Bic Tools to Live By pen, just a regular ballpoint pen. Nothing super special, but it's just nice. I like the shape, I like the style. Again, it emulates that like mid-century modern vibe that Tools to Live By has. So that's Tools to Live By. What else did I, oh, 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 oh. In a sleep. I'm jumping all over the place. I don't know if I showed you this, but I was kind of shocked, thrilled, surprised when I saw the B-Side and Rarities zipper case. I already put it in the in my Traveler's Records passport. Um, I did not know that they still sold these, so I got myself one to put in my wallet insert because I have two passports, so this Olive and then this Traveler's Records one. This Olive I decided to use for as my travel wallet and I didn't have the right wallet insert, so this is just a cheap one and the right, um, what do you call this, zip pocket insert, so I got that. I also got the letter pad from the B-Sides and Rarities set only because um, for a couple of days something that happened was I would forget to bring my travel notebook and Taipei stations have that stamp thing that Japan stations have so where you can like stamp just randomly stamp a page in your notebook whatever and so I ended up um, just stamping on a random notebook and I felt bad so I thought I would br would get this letter the B-sides and rarities um, letter pad for emergency situations like that so just in case I wanted to stamp it and then tear it off because you can because these tear off like that like that and then just put it in my notebook so this is the insert that came with the with the with the passport uh, with the olive passport and because I had forgotten my regular notebook see the type A stamps are here I'm jumping all over the place with this haul, but I just wanted to share. This is the Taipei Railway Station, and this is the Red House in Simending, one of my favorite places. And we were heading to the airport, and I kept saying, Stamps! Stamps! Because there is this main station one, this is the Taiwan Airport stamp. So there. Another thing that was an s -lite were... The Taiwan beer edition things. So I, I can't buy, find these in Manila anymore. Like I don't know anyone who's still selling them. So I got one set and then another set of the washi tape because it's really one of my favorite washi tapes. The yellow and green is so vibrant and bright. I tell myself and I use it with a lot of things. So these were so nice. And then um, there is a lettering artist from Japan named Chalk Boy that I really, really like uh, their style. Their, it looks so effortless, but I'm sure like w he's they've perfected their skill over time. And like every time I see their work, it's so distinct. And I knew that I wanted to get the laptop stickers. Uh, I was so shocked to find these Chalk Boy things in Taipei of all places because again, they weren't in Japan. Um, because I thought that Chalk Boy items were only available at a particular online store. But nope, they were in s -Lead, Japan. So I got this. I have more things from s -Lead, but they're with my sister. And she's not here right now. So I don't know if I'll, I'll get to show you what they are. But anyway, you'll see eventually. And then, oh yeah, I also got from... This is from Eslit as well. This super random um, washi tape of a woman swimming. It's so cute! I don't have a lot of blue washi tape as my reasoning. I like the blue and orange and I just thought it was so random <laughs> and so lovely. So I thought I would get it. I, I think one of the biggest hauls from a place that I went to was from plain homeware and stationery. 
It's probably my favorite stationery store so far of all time ever. Wow, like high praise. Yeah, but I really enjoyed um, their store. It was small, but it was full of stuff. And the cafe side was really nice as well. The owners were super nice. And they noticed that I had forgotten to bring my um, traveler's notebook. So they brought out like a, sheet, a pad of md cotton paper and they were like here here you go like use these two to stamp and um they were so nice and so lovely and i really enjoyed shopping there obviously because i bought quite a few things um first are these research notes research trademark notes inserts i'm i have never heard of these before i've never heard of these before but i saw them and i thought they were so unique like i like the uh the rose gold foiling on this one and this one is like a white i think this one is a dot grid and this one is a plain and they're both um they're both compatible with fountain pens they're both bleed resistant and they're supposed to be very durable so i got them i also got a passport craft insert from research notes and look at that super random wait focus focus look at that super random skeleton guy on the cover it was slightly creepy and very cool that's research notes and then um oh i found chalk boy kita tapes so i got these and then these kita tapes kita kita king jim kita tapes are um transparent and like specifically shaped so i got them it's very strange that i'm buying mostly um Japan things in Taipei, but I was very happy with their selection. Uh, another thing that I got was this fox patch. The fox is using a cell phone, and it, this one is made in Taiwan. I am not sure where I'm gonna put her, him, them, but yeah, I just thought it was so cool. And I love the colors, the, the suit and then the blue phone. Very nice. And oh, this! I also got this ink stamp i'd seen these before i don't remember where but yeah i thought it was it would be cute to like put the ink color here or whatever yeah so there's that um and then i was waiting for for them to finish making my masala chai because they said oh it's it's gonna take 20 minutes and i'm like that is perfectly fine with me because it is so hot in taipei like it was take i would i was taking forever to like cool down so i didn't mind like waiting for for a drink because i definitely needed one and then my brother came back and started telling me about this pencil thing that he bought and he showed me how it worked and i got ingit so i also got this penco um graphite pencil holder so it uh it it's like a it's a mechanical pencil it's a mechanical pencil but the refills are like whole sticks of graphite and it comes with a little and it comes with a sharpener which i thought was cool and i love the shape of the pencil hold of the pencil and i love the blue and i also got of course i need to also get the um refills how I will use this, I don't know, but I just thought it was so interesting and I wanted to try because we're all about trying on this trip. So yeah, I think that is most of everything that I got except for the uh, the ones I got on our last day because my sister has them, but it's just chalk, more chalk boy things because the bigger athlete store had a bigger selection. But yeah, I think that's the entire haul feels like a lot i mean it is a lot it's a lot of stationery for one person but i think i've reached that mindset where i am very happy to use them all so yeah um that's the end of our taiwan video our little like stationary hopping <laughs> our little stationary hopping video i hope you liked it i really was going to do a japan one but i realized i didn't have enough clips and I was too nervous to talk in front of a camera in front of my friends. So yeah, there's that. Um, but I hope you like this one. Taipei is a very interesting place. I had forgotten how interesting it could be. And I'm very glad to have done this trip with my siblings. And I don't know where... Well, n 
my next trip is going to be in Singapore, but really I will be too focused on August D to <laughs> to do anything like significantly stationary related, but anyway we'll see so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this super messy vlog and i will see you in the next one whenever that will be okay bye